here is a little realistic morning as new time parents. These are all the fun postpartum things that I do every morning. I'm going to do a video on all the must-haves for postpartum because recovering is no joke. Every morning I've been pumping with this mom cozy pump on one side and then breastfeeding on the other and it has been saving me because the you know what's need a break sometimes. <laughs> she is a sleeping angel. Um, as we were watching golf this morning, I got to drink some morning coffee and then snuggle with Ranger because he needs extra love these days. And then the extra milk, I've been putting it in these Nano Babe bottles. These bottles are my favorite so far. And I just put it in the fridge and I save it for later when she likes to cluster feed. <laughs> I've been drinking these Orgain protein shakes and they've been saving me just because I've been feeling a little dizzy while breastfeeding. So that's been a challenge, but we are working through that and trying to get my appetite back. Then I quick get ready for the day. And then I change Raina Girl's diaper. She's just so cute. I love her so much. <laughs> Crazy that I have a baby and she's mine. You can say DJ is in love too. <laughs> then my favorite part of the morning is we get ready and we go on a family walk. It feels so good to get out and move my body again and feel so much lighter. Here's a realistic morning in the life of a new mom. We started the day off with a feeding and a full blowout, so that quickly turned into bath time this morning. For the first time, we had the longest sleep stretch. It was five hours, so I really wanted to be productive today, but baby G had a whole different plan. She kept taking like tiny little naps, so I was like trying to be productive in between. I got to make the bed, but then she decided to wake up and she wanted to eat again, so we burped her. And at this point, I really thought we were going to be going down for an hour and a half or two hours, but that was not the case. I was able to get in the shower and she basically lost her ish while I was showering, so I had to try and breastfeed her again so I can put her down, and we succeeded but not for long. In the middle of doing my hair routine, she decided that it was time for mom to come pick her up again. I'm not sure what's going on. She's been very clingy. Is this like a thing? Or did I make her this way? Don't get me wrong. I will take all the love she can give me. What are your guys' tricks and tips for daytime napping for a newborn? At this point, I'm just gonna have to figure it out I had to clean the counter really quick so that we can head over to the kitchen because I am starving. So I poured myself some cereal and then I found these iced coffees at Aldi's and I wanted to give them a shot and honestly they taste so good so I just poured it over some ice and I'm a straw girl. I don't know about you guys but I've got to have my straw. I made baby G a bottle because yep you guessed it she was up again. But thankfully, this was her last straw and just about mine. So we sat down and watched Netflix for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go back to sleep for like 30 minutes. I should have just stayed awake because now I'm more tired than I was earlier. Kristen is still sleeping, that's why I'm getting ready in the dark. Self tan last night and it looks so good, but my face is so white. My cheek acne. Today is leg day, so I am trying to mentally prepare. And we are ready for the gym. This is a genuine question. Has anybody's baby fallen off of something yet? And maybe it'll never happen to you, and I am so happy for you, but a few days ago, Camp fell off of his dresser that we changed him on. I swear that moment has replayed in my head 10,000 times in slow motion. We did all the things to make sure that he wasn't concussed, and obviously he was okay. He fell on like three pads of carpet. Once your baby starts to roll over, do you stop changing them on like the dresser changing pad? Because that little guy is staying on the ground. Getting to the gem when- gem? Getting to the gym when it's dark out is literally so spooky. Let's go hit legs before I decide to turn around and go back home. Why is leg day humbling every single time? I literally just kicked my own ass. Now let's go hug and squeeze my baby. Good morning. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna surprise you. Whoa. Grabs every 
everything. You a naughty boy. Okay, have a good day. Anyway, we gotta put his boots back on and then it's nap time. Don't even bother throwing the throw pillows on my bed anymore. It's just an extra step at bedtime. That reeks. Ugh. Hold on, baby. One second. Are you hanging out by the toilet?
Okay, we have to do uh, the Walmart grocery pickup and i um, probably gonna go to Starbucks because anytime I leave my house, I gotta get Starbucks. I also need to get gas because I am critically low. Thank you guys. Hi. Hello, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Yep, in the back is great. Thank you so much. Thank you. 